That was truly inspirational. Well, it's high time we heard again from our special guest, ladies and gentlemen, the lovely Ruthie Henshaw. It's such a delight having you with us to celebrate Christmas. Um, how will you be celebrating Christmas Day? I'm actually going to be in Paris. My husband's doing an opera. <laughs> that must be awful for you. It's dreadful. So um, I'm going to be chowing down on lots of French bread and wine, I think. <laughs> is Christmas Day important to you? Yes, it is. Um, very much so. I, I'm a Christian. I would call myself a Christian. And um, so for me, uh, it's very important that I teach my children what it's about. And it's, you know, and the giving and receiving, not just um, that it's a day to get all the toys they want. <laughs> Which, of course, it is that as well for any child. But, no, I want to teach them the real meaning of Christmas. Well, why do you think God wanted you to be a singer? I believe my, my voice is God-given. I don't believe, you know, and, and I believe that when you've been given some kind of voice or gift or talent for something, whatever it is, that you need to use it and also use it to, um, f for the good. You know, we put on shows and somebody might have come out and, you know, had, had a really rough day and they come and see a show and something touches their heart and they feel different. So I feel very privileged to do what I do because... Um, you know, I get to do this, and, you know, how lucky can you get? We're delighted that she's with us this evening. She's made our night, hasn't she? <laughs> Thank you. What are you going to sing for us this evening? I'm going to sing Have Yourself a Blessed Little Christmas, which is actually the um, religious version of Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas, of course, made famous by Judy Garland. Fantastic. Can't wait for it. Ladies and gentlemen, Ruthie Henshaw. Thank you.
Christmas love.